People love to pit women against women, yeah. don't they? It's I like, know. Even on here, we're like, oh, yeah. do you all really get on? Do you really get on? We're like, yeah, we Any do. Any interview yeah. you do, they yeah. go, come on, there must Any... be someone you yeah. don't I know on. that doing this show, at the end of this show, they'll be in a newspaper that Kelly and I have not got on. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I, I'm thinking now, how do I put my face for the next <laughs> 55 minutes? I was, scared. I was a bit scared to meet Janet, I have to say, cos I'd heard things... <laughs> <laughs> What's she gonna be like? But I was quite excited. Just don't know. I was actually me. disappointed you weren't meaner to me when we first met. Because <laughs> I kind of wanted There's a bit early, but yeah, the it's early days, love. We've got it's another hour of the show yet. Do not I... ask for a selfie and do not cuddle her. <laughs> <laughs> I find that most of the actual oh, most of my co-stars have been men, and I always find that they feel threatened by women. And I felt that over the years, in especially in television, that the only problems I've really had are with male co-hosts. I find that the women I work with are actually really supportive and loving mm. and understanding because they realise yeah, what yeah. it's like to be a woman in a male-dominated environment, how strong you've got to be, you've got to have thick skin. And I find that, you know, over the years, some of the guys that I've worked with, they're actually, if shows have been failing or not working out, they all kind of, like, need a scapegoat, and it's always me, cos I'm, like, you know, the kind of the bimbo, the one with the big boots, the only one. Why do you say you're a bimbo? You're, you're, so, you're just... Um, what's the word? She's For saying what? No, I'm saying what they I, say. I yeah. don't think I'm a bimbo, but I'm saying no, over the years... what do you do about it? Well, I just, well, I'm just keep my head down and keep working. Yeah, well, you prove that's... you're not a bimbo. Well, I think you prove you're the... not. It takes longer, cos I think you just got to keep going and, you know, you just... Well, you're you professional, see, like, you turn up on time, you do your job, you do, yeah. you know, sometimes you're kind of up against it. And, you know, I've been sacked on numerous jobs because of, you know, not being capable. But the fact is, it's a rubbish show and the producers aren't capable, but I'm the one that gets the blame for yeah. it. Yeah. We, 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 do get uh, we all get labelled. Like yeah. I held up the label earlier, witch. Yeah. yeah. That's because <laughs> I've got strong opinions. I'm not a witch, I'm actually a nice person. But she it is, is true, Daddy. She, yeah. she is. She we is. I do not like people her. doing <laughs> selfies with me. I I do not like people coming up to me in the supermarket and having a good look in my basket or my trunk. <laughs> <laughs> so and you tell, and you are, tell if them. I am shopping this weekend, don't come within ten yards. Because she I will know. tell you to sling yeah. your hook. Well, the, the local post office where I go to pick up my parcels, you know, if you're not in and they take it to the local post office, they go to me all the time. Your mate's been in, ran in and raving again. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to apologise for her. But does, it bother, does it bother you that people kind of label you before they've even met you? So um, they might say, oh, you know, she's the glamour model, yeah. or you say, oh, she's, you know, she's a bimbo. I think in the, I think early on in my career, I really struggled with it. But I think, I think a lot of the times they were right. I wasn't really that experienced. I was really young doing what I was doing, and I was kind of learning in the public eye, making mistakes for everyone to kind of comment yeah. on. And I feel like I don't know. I th I think I've been around like for 20 years now. Proved so yourself. A little bit. I like to think that I've kind of, you but know, why proved that. Why do women have to feel they have to prove themselves? Because yeah, I, I had the yeah, same thing when I started. People were constantly imitating my funny teeth, my glasses, my accent, and it all added up to she's really weird, and if we keep calling her weird, she'll just go away and die or get under a stone. And, you know, <laughs> I'm still here. Kelly, did you ever. <laughs> Did you ever lose your confidence when all this was happening to you? Um, I think I didn't lose my confidence. I think I just, especially in television, I think I kind of walked away from television for a number of years, especially UK TV, because I just didn't want to be talked about all the time. Like, yeah, it was much yeah. easier to go, like, I moved to America, I worked over there, and it was so much easier walking in a room in America and not having anyone kind of have any preconceived idea of who I was or what my capabilities were, and I could just, you know, do, have an audition, do the, get, book the job on the basis of, you know, what I did in the room, and that was that. So, yeah, I think for a long time I kind of just didn't want that a kind of attention but now I, mean, I don't really care. It's funny you should say that <laughs> there's, there's a point in my career where I kept getting labelled as sidekick mm. some bloke that I was hosting a show with and I was always the sidekick and it just got to me to the extent where I actually went to a, Australia I did the same thing yeah. and I worked in Australia for six months where I had to start with a clean slate mm. and, and start from scratch and it was just great. It's great because then you go oh actually I can do this because you're not having to deal with all the nonsense around you so that's what I really love. Sometimes about you need to America. step out of that don't yeah. you, out of the box and people to go, oh, actually, she's quite good, isn't she, doing that on your own? You know, yeah. and I, I've had that with Eamon and I get labelled as always working together, yeah. you know, and things like, shows like this. Like, I'm half of him, you know, and I was doing, I was working in TV long before I met Eamon, you know. So, and you both right. do your own things And we both as well. do our own things as well, which is, which is great. And everywhere you go, I get, where's Eamon? And he gets, <laughs> where's Green? <laughs> yeah, so it's really, it's, in, a, in a way, it's nice, because they kind of see us as this, yeah, this yeah. duo, mm. which we are, but, you know, it just makes me laugh wherever we go. It's like, where 
there's the other one. I've got no idea. <laughs> 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 today. So don't know what, where he is now. Hopefully he's watching this show. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>